Welcome to Thalassemias, Alpha and Beta Thalassemia. We have the following take-home points. Thalassemias are characterized by decreased or absent alpha or beta globin chain production. Ineffective erythropoiesis in thalassemia leads to microcytic chronic hemolytic anemia and iron overload. Suspect thalassemia when microcytic anemia is unresponsive to iron supplementation. The oxygen-carrying protein in red blood cells is hemoglobin, which is composed of two alpha globin chains and two beta globin chains made in relatively equal amounts. Thalassemia occurs when there is decreased production of either alpha or beta globin chains, causing an imbalance in the alpha and beta chain ratio. In alpha thalassemia, there is decreased or absent production of alpha globin. Typically, four alpha globin genes are present because two copies each are inherited from each parent. A single mutation leads to the state of being a silent carrier, which is typically asymptomatic. A two-gene mutation results in alpha thalassemia trait. Patients with a three-gene mutation have more severe anemia and make a tetramer of beta globin called hemoglobin H, which can be identified on electrophoresis. Deletion of all four genes results in tetramers of gamma globin called hemoglobin BARTs. The resulting condition, hydrops fatalis, is often fatal before birth. In beta thalassemia, there is decreased or absent production of beta globin genes. There are hundreds of beta globin gene mutations leading to varied clinical presentations. In general, beta plus thalassemia leads to mild reduction in beta chain synthesis, while beta-0 thalassemia leads to complete absence of beta chain synthesis. Therefore, the spectrum of clinical disease can be mild, intermediate, or severe, previously classified as beta thalassemia minor, intermediate, or major. Now, it is more appropriate to classify disease in terms of whether a patient is non-transfusion dependent or transfusion dependent. Unpaired alpha or beta globin chains are not soluble in the red blood cell cytoplasm. Therefore, they precipitate, causing cellular damage. Thus, red blood cell maturation is impaired, leading to clinical manifestations of ineffective erythropoiesis and extramedullary hematopoiesis. Clinical findings include microcytosis, hemolytic anemia, and iron overload. In alpha thalassemia, a silent carrier has a normal or mildly decreased hemoglobin with normal or mildly decreased MCV. Hemoglobin electrophoresis is normal and transfusion is not needed. Alpha thalassemia trait is associated with a mild microcytic anemia with a hemoglobin of about 10 grams per deciliter. The hemoglobin electrophoresis is normal in adults. In newborns, hemoglobin BARTs can be detected. In trait, transfusion is not needed. Hemoglobin H disease is associated with moderate microcytic anemia with a hemoglobin range of 7 to 8 grams per deciliter. Hemoglobin electrophoresis shows the presence of hemoglobin H. Transfusions are uncommon but may be needed at periods of increased demand, such as with acute infection or in pregnancy. Beta thalassemia minor, or carrier state, is characterized by mild microcytic anemia. Hemoglobin electrophoresis shows increased hemoglobin A2. No transfusion is needed. Intermediate, or non-transfusion dependent thalassemia, is characterized by moderate microcytic anemia. Hemoglobin electrophoresis shows increased hemoglobin A2 and hemoglobin F. Beta thalassemia major, or transfusion dependent, beta thalassemia is characterized by severe microcytic anemia. Hemoglobin electrophoresis shows increased hemoglobin A2 with little to no hemoglobin A. These patients are transfusion dependent. Suspect the diagnosis in a patient with microcytic anemia that is unresponsive to iron supplementation. Hemoglobin electrophoresis is sometimes useful 
However, a precise diagnosis is best made by genetic testing. In patients with thalassemias, avoid iron supplementation. Folate supplementation is needed due to chronic hemolysis. Chronic transfusion therapy may be needed for symptomatic anemia and or control of extramedullary hematopoiesis. Iron chelation is needed for iron overload. As of 2022, Lusparticept is FDA approved for transfusion-dependent thalassemia. Appropriate patients with severe disease should be referred for allogeneic stem cell transplantation. In summary, thalassemias are characterized by decreased or absent alpha or beta globin chain production. Ineffective erythropoiesis leads to microcytic chronic hemolytic anemia and iron overload. Suspect thalassemia when microcytic anemia is unresponsive to iron supplementation. This ends our video on thalassemias, alpha and beta thalassemia.